Now, in this video, what we'll be looking at is index notation. Now, we've already looked in class uh, index notation when we're multiplying. So you should at this point know that b times by b times by b times by b, we would just write as b to the power of 4. And then that would be the index notation where 4 is the index. And then here, 2 times by 4 would be 8. x squared times by x makes x cubed and y times by y cubed is y to the power of 4. So this we should already really know that when we're multiplying we're effectively just adding the numbers where y is y to the power of 1 and x is to the power of 1. 2 at 1 is 3, 1 at 3 is 4. So if I was to say 5x cubed y to the power of 5 times by 6 x to the power of 6 y to the power of 7 that would just be 5 times by 6 is 30. x cubed times by x to the power of 6 is x to the power of 9. And then that would be y to the power of 12 because of 5 and 7. What this video is mostly going to focus on is index notation when we're dividing. So before we're multiplying, this time we're dividing. Now, a to I can rewrite this as a to the power of 5 divided by a to the power of 3. Now, if you think about this in long form, so that would be a times by a times by a times by a times by a divided by a times by a times by a. Now, what we can do is we can start crossing these out because a divided by a is just 1. So effectively, we don't need it. And again, a divided by a is 1. We don't need it. And again here, a divided by a is 1, so we don't need it. So what we're left out with is a times by a, so that would be a squared. Now if you think about it, all that we really have done is you've just done 5 take away 3 to get the 2. Because here they had 3 of them in common, so they cancelled out. So here, b to the power of 6 divided by b squared would just be b to the power of 6 take away 2 which is b to the power of 4. Okay, you do not divide these numbers, you take them away. Now let's get a little bit more complicated. So here, we have some numbers as well. Now what do we do with this? Divided by 4t to the power of 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2, and t to the power of 7 divided by t squared is t to the power of 5. And again, here, 16 divided by 4 is 4. y to the power of 8 divided by y squared is y to the power of 8 take away 2, which is 6. Now, one more really complicated one. Here, I've got two different variables. But it's exactly the same process, it's just slightly longer. 20 divided by 4 is 5. a to the power of 5 divided by a to the power of 2 would be a to the power of 3, because we have 5 take away 2. And then b squared divided by b, well that's just 1 b left. So that would be 5a cubed to the power of b. Now what I'd like you to do before next lesson is answer these 5 questions.